guys, welcome back to another video. We are releasing daily videos. This is Top Dog Tober, and this is number 21. My goodness me, we are looking at different types of 11 plus reasoning, English, maths, the whole lot, every single day, little bite sized chunks to help you along the way. Now, if you are interested in these videos, if you've enjoyed them so far, even if this is the first time you've clicked on one of our videos, welcome. We have an amazing offer for you guys. So you get premium lessons on our website, topdogonline.co.uk, where you get every single week a new English, a new maths, a new nonverbal, and a new verbal reasoning lesson. High quality stuff, guys, and long video length, longer than on YouTube. You get homeworks, you get walkthroughs, you can see how to answer every single question. So if you are itching for some more, go to our website, whack it into your basket, and use the code vote Dylan, and it gives you 15% off at the checkout. What a deal. 12 months of access guys every single week four new lessons come out that's a lot of lessons that's a lot of insight it's Hayden and I so if you enjoy that kind of thing come and join us on our website with that cracking deal anyway let's take a look at yesterday's question where do you think we been living if we had not decided to stay in our hometown all those years ago First thing I'm gonna tell you before the question even comes up because you would have had a go at this yesterday of Hayden in the comment section uh, you it is never of Never ever of, it's always have. So it's one of these three, all to do with tense. It is might have. Will have is the future, should have, it doesn't work. Okay, we're thinking about a thing that might have happened. So that's your answer there, D. We're taking a look today at a classic nonverbal reasoning question type. This is grids. Now we call them grids because guess what? They look like a grid. It's that simple, okay? And what's happening is you always get either a two by two or a three by three grid. In this case here, it's a two by two, as you can see. And one of them is missing and we need to figure out which one. And that's that's it, that's our instructions. So there's lots of different ways we can work out this question. Uh, so let's looking at this one two by two. Uh, this one's almost like a transformation. So we're gonna go from the left to the right. What happens to that shape as we move from the left to the right? Well, I can tell straight away the triangle flips. And much like our sequence lesson previously, guys, we're going to be looking at one feature at a time. So it's mirrored. That's the first thing I would say. So we can see this should be here like that. And we could do that. Remember when you draw this out, it's never gonna be perfect, but it's just a rough idea. Now, two things happen. One is the reflection. So we've got it that far. The other thing is clearly I can see that the colors invert. White goes to gray, gray goes to white. So that means this is gonna be a gray square down here. And now we should be able to find our answer. It's obviously not E or C because the triangle's pointing the wrong way. In A, it's in the wrong position, the rectangle, it's at the top. And clearly here, the actual correct answer is B because it's the only one that flips and swaps color. So two things happening in that question. It's your go to have a go at this one here. Okay, what's happening? Hmm. This time, the only hint I'll give you is we're going top to bottom, okay? So that it can be top to bottom. Left to right, I don't see many links here. However, top to bottom, I can see a square and an archway and I can see a square in an archway. So think what's happening as I go from the top to the bottom, one thing at a time, work out how we can go from the top to the bottom on the right and see what's left. Have a go, I'll talk it through after. Okay, so one thing at a time. First thing, those X's turn into pluses. So my plus is gonna turn into an X. That's the first thing. I can get rid of C now. And that's it. I've got rid of one. It's better than nothing. What else happens? Well, as I go from the top to the bottom, you might notice that the inside shape here is a square. That ends up being the outer shape at the bottom. So my inner shape here is a hexagon. I'm going to make mine a hexagon on the outside. One thing at a time, get rid of anything that's not a hexagon on the outside. It's not B and it's not D. Next thing, very simple now, the outer shape here at the top, an archway, that got shrunk and went into the middle. So let's see our outer shape here, uh, which is another hexagon actually, it's still got six sides, just not a regular one. That's gonna be shrunk and go in the middle. So I'm gonna draw it in, these corners here kind of cut off, just like that. Clearly it's not E, because it's not a square, it's A. This is how simple these questions can be when we do one thing at a time. But just beware, you can get three by threes, it's a bit more complicated. And in this case, yeah, things might be happening, but it's just more complicated. It's not as simple as just going this to this, this to this. Now we need to take in the whole grid. I'm gonna leave you to have a go, see if you can find what must go here. One thing at a time is still the exact way to do it. Uh, then we'll talk it through afterwards. Okay, so one thing to notice straight away is I can see in the middle, circle, circle, circle going across. 
small circle, medium, large, small square, medium, large. The bottom are triangles, so we're going to have a small triangle in the middle. That means that I can get rid of C, because that's a square in the middle. I can get rid of D, because that's not small. And I'm left with three options straight away. Next thing then is to look at the top here. We have got a, an X in the left, top left, an X in the top left, an X in the top left, same position. Looking across the middle row, an X in the top right, X in the top right, X in the top right. So the X stays in the same place. So looking here, this X is going to stay in the bottom right. Look at that. I've got an X in the bottom right. Isn't that cool? What do you know? It didn't help because every single one of them has a, uh, an X in the bottom right. So always be aware of that. Even if you spend your time working something out, sometimes it's good to look at the answers to see what's different. So I wouldn't have bothered looking at the square, at uh, the X, sorry, because if I'd looked here, I'd know the X was different. However, if I look at the answers now, I notice two are going down and one's going up. So I'm going to try and see what's the orientation of that V shape. Well, at the top here, we can see going across, or it, let's, let's go going down because it's the same thing. Uh, we have a V that way, and then it rotates around 90 degrees and ro rotates 90 degrees again. So here, let's go to our one. Uh, it's at the top there, pointing down. Then it rotates 90 degrees, and it's going to point in that way. And it's going to rotate 90 degrees again, which means it's going to be going down, which means it's not E. Now, the last thing is, are they squares on the outside, or are they circles? Well, let's take a look. At the top, square, square, square. Next, triangle, triangle, triangle. We know which shape's missing now. It's obviously a circle, and we can check that because, look, circle here, circle here. So across each row, it was a set of three. We need circles, so it can't be A, and the answer was B. More complicated, but the same technique. One feature at a time and build it up. I want you to have a go at this one. I'm not going to say anything. You try and work out what's going on. One feature at a time. Okay, let's take a look then and see how you did. Firstly, I see the shapes. Triangles across, circles across, squares across. It's a square. <clears throat> see, I need to be more specific. They're all squares. That doesn't help. Next, I think, okay, color. Gray, black, white. Black, white, gray. So we need all three somehow. So we've got white, gray, we need a black shape. So I'm gonna get rid of C, I'm gonna get rid of D. Perfect. Next, looking at the answers again, letting that lead me this time, I see the squares are different sizes. Do I want a large square or a small square? Well, again, across each row, we see a large, medium, small. Small, large, medium. Medium, small, I want a large square. So I'm gonna get rid of B. Now the only thing left to work out is where those lines go. Again, they're rotating. We can see here there's a gap in the top right, bottom right, bottom left. It's rotating 90 degrees. Next up, bottom right, bottom left, top left, rotating 90 degrees, going clockwise. Let's do the same here, gap here, gap there. So there's gonna be a gap up here, which means it looks like this. We're gonna have a big square in the middle. It's not A, E matches up beautifully. And that's our answer, okay guys? One feature at a time makes these way more simple. Last one that we're going to do together, okay? This one, it's got a kind of a different logic I just wanted to show you. So have a go first yourself, see if you can see how do we work out what goes in that first square. Okay, so this one is a combination. The middle square, take each row on its own. The middle square is a combination of the left and the right. So if we take that line and we take that, it makes the middle. Same for the middle here. The left-hand side is the black rectangle. The right-hand side, we put them together. Same that we're going to have to do at the bottom now. Okay, so we've got these three blocks. So we've got this bit. We just want this bit now over here. So it's going to look something like that. A is wrong because it's not a triangle. Uh, B is wrong. It's not the same shape. C is wrong. It's not the same shape. D is wrong. It's not the same shape. It's E. Okay, now if you didn't work this out first, if you look at these, you might think, oh yeah, that's about right. That can go on the end there. Or, oh look, this is the outline, but D might be correct. No, you have to work out what's going on first, then apply that rule one feature at a time. So that leaves me with a question for you. And I wonder what kind of streak you're on. We are very much into Top Dog Tober here. How many answers have you got right? Could you get this one right as well? Let us know in the comments down below, A, B, C, D, or E. Hayden will show you tomorrow exactly what the answer is. And I'll see you in two days for another better video. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I know it's Hayden tomorrow. I'm very sorry. We've got to put up with him for one day, okay? I'll be back really soon. Okay, I'll see you then in a couple of days.